a couple of super simple seafood sauces today, inspired by a great American seafood shack, Bowen's Island Restaurant, which is just outside of Folly Beach or just outside of Charleston, really, on the way to Folly Beach. But a real simple tartar sauce and cocktail sauce. Sometimes I'll go to these seafood places and I'll almost be mad because I don't get, they'll give me like a teeny little cup of tartar sauce. So doggone it, we're going to make tartar sauce at home. Actually, Bowen's Island takes care of you and gives you healthy portions of everything and you can go back and get tartar sauce. So not complaining about Bowen's Island, it's awesome. But let's get right to the recipe. Super simple. I think a lot of times you'll have plenty of tartar sauces because it's pretty shelf stable. But cocktail sauce is about as easy as it gets. I've known this one forever. It's just ketchup and horseradish. And not the mayonnaise-based horsey sauce like they have at Arby's. This is just straight horseradish. In fact, it's pretty spicy, the one that I use. I like that a little bit better. Sometimes people will add some Worcestershire sauce, sometimes a little uh, Tabasco sauce, but really, that's all you need. Maybe some even some lemon juice, but ketchup and horseradish. Tartar sauce, a little more to it for that. And it starts with a good cup of high quality mayonnaise. Of course, here in the South, we're dealing with Dukes. Might be something different elsewhere. Uh, I add a tablespoon of sweet pickle relish. If you got those bread and butter uh, sweet pickles, you can just mince those up and use that. But a tablespoon of sweet pickle relish, uh, some lemon juice, about two tablespoons. It's about a half a lemon here. Mix it all up. Add some salt and pepper as much as you like. Actually, a good bit of salt and pepper just to really mix it together. A little bit of minced onion, about a tablespoon of minced onion, and just a little dab of mustard as well to give it a little bit of color. That's it, but the most important thing is you gotta let it sit in the refrigerator for about an hour to let the flavors really meld together. That little bit of time really makes it great. But that's it, super simple tartar sauce inspired by a trip to Bowen's Island. If you look closely in the video, you can probably pick up some dirty jokes <laughs> that people write on the table. Uh, but always cold beer there. Look at that view. You just cannot beat it if you're looking for a cold beer and some fried uh, flounder, some fantastic hush puppies, a little coleslaw, and the shrimp in great portion sizes as well. The chairs may be a little rickety though, depending on which one you sit on. The chair could give out at any time after this meal, but who's worried about it? Bowen's Island, don't miss it, closed Sundays and Mondays. Robert Barber, I think he's the second generation to run the Oyster Room there for uh, years and years and years. And congratulations to him, recognized by the James Beard House as an American classic. Make a run to Bowen's Island, so good. Got the whole recipes for both the cocktail sauce and the tartar sauce on the website and a great hush puppy recipe in the free book that is available on the website as well, www.barbecuetricks.com.